gang of terrorists or bandits tormenting the northern western part of Nigeria has said that banditry in the region began as far back as when Zamfara was carved out of Sokoto under the regime of the late military head of state, Sani Abacha, in 1996. The bandits revealed this in a video interview they granted a scene with Daily Trust on Wednesday. The leader of the gang who spoke in Hausa disclosed that Fulani headers have been subjected to humiliation, suffering, and neglect in the past under the democratic government that began in 1999 till date, which compelled them to take up arms. According to them, the entirety of wealth in Nigeria is not shared with the nomads by the successive governments, leaving them in illiteracy and hunger, and choosing banditry to survive became a necessity. It's been long we started. We started not long after Zamfara State was created. We took up arms because we are headers, and despite this country's wealth, we are not carried along. We are not educated. We do not know anything. We do not have security. We do not have any benefits. We are the ones being killed, but are always seen as the aggressors. We don't have anything. Wherever a header is, he is uneducated and has nothing. In this country, there is everything, but we are not carried along. It is as if, though we don't exist, we are just being killed, the leader of the gang said in the video. Also, he spoke about a deal that was breached by the Nigerian government in the past, which should have put an end to banditry in the region. The bandits revealed that the government did not fulfill its end of the deal, lamenting that killing happens almost every day in the Northwest, with no particular regard to any tribe. Of course, it has been breached. You have asked for an amnesty. An agreement was reached, but you left that person in the forest with a gun and nothing was to substitute. What do you expect? How do you want that person to survive? All promises made to us, none of them was fulfilled, and nothing was done to enroll the young ones in school. We should be treated the same way and given jobs by the government. The Hausa, the Yoruba, and Fulani should be treated equally, the bandits said. Speaking, the leader of the Maraudin gang said, President Muhammad Buhari should head the peace talks if he is serious about ending banditry and insecurity in the country. Furthermore, the bandits claimed they supported President Buhari because he promised to fix the country. But they can see now that the promise were mere a fantasy. The president should personally come and preside over the talks. When he was campaigning, he traveled all over. Why would he not do it now? He does not take these peace talks seriously and everyday people are being killed. There is no day that someone is not being killed between Zamfara, Niger, Kaduna, Sokoto, and Katsina. No two days pass without someone getting killed in these areas and places. There is no tribe that is spared. Gunmen killed, soldiers killed, vigilantes killed. Gunmen killed, soldiers as well killed, vigilantes killed. No tribe is being spared. Whoever you see with a gun today in Nigeria uses it to kill people. You may not know, but if I were to tell you the situation of things in this country, you will cry. Even the president will cry. We supported this administration and accepted dialogue because we thought he will fix the country, but he won't fix the country. 
From the time he praised Good Luck Jonathan, Olusegun Obasanjo and late Umaru Musayaradua, these were not praiseworthy. It would have been better if he had praised Sunny Abacha, because under Abacha, pastoralists were being educated. During Abacha, there was allocation in the budget for the nomadic communities. There was no such thing again since Obasanjo became president. They stopped looking after the Fulanese. Their forests and grazing areas were taken over. He will see one person having as much as 1,000 hectares just because he is rich, the leader said. All right, guys, these are the concerns that has been um, enumerated by the leader of the bandits uh, as to the reason behind the activities of the bandits in the northern part of the country and why they are into killing and why they have taken two guns. The question is, are these reasons justified? If you'd ask me, they definitely are not justified. The, the actions or whatever it is they are complaining about has not justified their killing people, you know, maiming people, burning down houses and all that and all that. These are all selfish interests, as it were. These people just want the government to feed them, clothe them, bathe them, and do virtually everything for them. Give them money, put money in their pockets, and all that. They don't want to work. And that is what I can deduce from all of this. But, well, the onus lies on the president and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So he needs to come out with a way to deal with these issues. He knows what he has promised them. He knows what he has said to them. And uh, he needs to fulfill the promises he made to them or else, you know, they are going to make life unbearable for people in the country. And this may not just be allowed to happen in other parts of the southern part of the country. It's unfortunate that this is the situation of things. If this had been going on for years and the president who promised to tackle insecurity under six months cannot even, you know, safeguard himself in the Asura that he leaves, then it tells you that, you know, the man is uh, outdated when it comes to ideas that can rule a nation. Well, it is what it is, guys. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.